Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11 on your PC. And this is actually really easy to do. So we will need some sort of USB device like this, and we're gonna to need to plug this into our computer. And I'm just gonna quickly format it. So when we have this opened up, let's just go down to the bottom, go to File Explorer right here, right click on it, open this up, and then go on over to this PC somewhere on the left. And you should be able to find it. So here's this PC. Now I'm going to unplug my drive and then plug it back in so I know which one it is. So I'll just take a look at this menu and let's see what pops up now. And it looks like this is the E drive for me. So you can see it right here. It's only like 15 gigabytes. I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to go to format and I'm going to format this maybe just NTFS. Go to start and go to OK. Now, once we do this, uh, we are good to go. Now, if you have any other kind of drive on your computer, you might want to just disconnect them so it's a little bit easier, depending on the computer that you're going to be installing this on. But let's open up uh, just Google.com and then go to Install Windows 11. Go to the first link on Microsoft.com, download Windows 11 right here. And then the second download we want to go to, Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Download now. And then go to the media creation tool and just save it on your computer. It probably will be under downloads or something like that. And then go to this and open it up. So I can see it in my folder right here. Double, double click on it, go to yes when this pops up. And then I'm gonna close this down. We don't need this open anymore. And then close these down as well. Get a few things started and we're gonna have to pick our USB device that we have plugged in. So just make sure you select the correct one, otherwise you're gonna probably be deleting everything off your old drive. So I got uh, my language, Windows 11, good. Let's go to next, USB flash drive. It needs at least eight gigabytes. I think it might install a little bit more than that, but let's go to next. And then I got all these different drives on here. I know mine is the E drive, so I'm gonna select this. So you can just verify by going back to File Explorer and looking at this. So it is the E drive. I think I had my com uh, I had my camera plugged in, and I was transferring files. So okay, that was the I drive. I'm not confused anymore. So let's go to this now, and it's downloading Windows 11 on here, and we're going to go through this process. Now this is probably going to take like maybe 10 to 15 minutes to download everything, and it'll tell you when it's complete. It'll say finished. So here's my computer. Now the first thing we want to do is just plug in our USB device like this and plug it into the side. And then uh, disconnect any additional uh, USB drives you may have plugged in or any uh, internal drives in your computer. Uh, disconnect those as well so we only have one drive on our computer. And we're going to have to launch our computer into the BIOS menu uh, so we can change the boot order so we boot from this uh, USB drive. Otherwise, it might not function. It could pop up for you, but let's go on down to the Windows Start button right here. And then we're going to go to Settings and we'll just launch it into uh, the UEFI firmware settings so we can get into BIOS easy. So let's go on over to Settings right here. Open this up, go down to Windows uh, Update, and then go to the right, wait for this to load. And it's really slow right now, but let's go to Advanced Options and then recovery, and then advance startup, restart now. So we're gonna have to change the boot order on our BIOS menu, or if you know how to get to the boot selection, you can just change it to your drive that you have plugged in. So that's one of the reasons why it's important to have a lot of your drives just disconnected, otherwise it's just going to uh, confuse you when you're in the boot menu and when you're installing uh, Windows 11. So disconnect everything else. So you can see uh, my computer right here. It says please wait. And then it's going to go to a blue screen. And once we're on this blue screen, this is actually going pretty quick. Uh, let's go to uh, where it says troubleshoot. So you do have the option to use a device recovery DVD or something like that. But let's go to troubleshoot, advanced options, UEFI firmware settings, and then go to restart, unless you know how to go to BIOS exactly. So this is going to restart to my Gigabyte BIOS menu now, and I'm just gonna give it some time. 
and here it is this one looks a little bit outdated for some reason is this up to date all right so we can go through here and look at all the different options uh, for this so it looks like we have to use the d-pad to move around we can't just use the cursor so this is actually MSI okay so this is different so we want to go to boot and you can see the boot option is number one uh, USB CD DVD so we can just boot from here we want to go to the USB hard disk uh, PNY USB 3 whatever we just did right here so I'm gonna switch it over and this is a little bit different than just USB so I'm gonna boot off of that first my PNY drive then I'm going to go to save and restart put a yes and now it's going to boot off of just my USB drive that I plugged in and now we should see the installer so once we have this finished it should work and my computer is starting up and here it is the blue screen and we're going to have to select a language we can go to English we can go to next now keyboard input US install Windows 11 or you can repair it but let's go to I agree go to next we're getting a few things ready and this process is going to probably take a while for you um, maybe like 15 20 minutes really depends on your hard drive how good your hard drive is if you have an SSD or an NVMe SSD it could quite uh, go quite quick now you get all these different drives on here this is so confusing so I'm just going to go to my largest drive I might actually want to just delete all the partitions so you can see my primary drive all these other drives because I already have Windows on my drive so I'm just going to delete and format everything under here so I just don't want to delete my USB drive so you can see my USB uh, partition is right here and that's disk 1 so anything on disk 0 I'm just going to delete so I'm going to delete that. It's on allocated space now. Delete disk. And you can see partition 1 has Windows on it. Delete. Just do not delete uh, your USB drive. Otherwise you're going to have to do this all again. So delete. So you can see everything is becoming on allocated space, which is fine. And then you can choose your disk 0. I have 931 gigabytes on it now. And I could create a partition. I don't think it's necessary right now. We can just go to next. If we select this. If you can't go to next, we might have to just create a partition on there. But see if we can go to next. Can we? No. So I'm just waiting for this to do something. So let's go to create partition. All right. If you run into this issue where you, know, you got this unallocated space and won't do anything, we can just go back. And then go back to in here. And I'll just refresh it. And then you got these disks. That's fine. Uh, just go to disk zero again and then uh, you can see it's our primary drive so you do have to create a partition on it I believe and then we can go to next and it will allow us to go through it ready to install let's install Windows 11 and then we're going to go through this process it's 7% complete all right looks like the installation is complete so it's going to restart my computer and I'm just going to leave everything uh, plugged in the way it is now it says it looks like you started an upgrade and boot from installation media. If you want to continue with the upgrade, remove the media from your PC and click yes. So I want to just boot it normally. So I'm going to remove this from my computer and go to yes. Otherwise it's going to just try to keep installing windows on your PC. So very important you remove that once the process is done and your computer should boot up like normal. And once you actually get to the point where you can see uh, Windows 11 and you got it started up, you can start plugging in all your other drives. All right, so here's Windows 11 and we'll have to just go through this quick little screen here. So I got my um, mouse here. Let's go to yes, United States. And then US again. Want to add a second keyboard? Uh, skip for now. Let's connect to the network. Um, looks like we'll probably have to do this right away. So I got uh, a few of them on here. Let's go to Scumpy and connect. And I don't think it's going to save my password. Let's go to next and it's going to connect to uh, my network and it might have some more updates. So we'll see. Let's go to next from here. And uh, it's checking for updates, of course. And you might have to download this right now. And it finally says welcome. 
So we should be booting actually into Windows 11 uh, where we can operate everything. So it says name your device. I usually skip that. I'll do that later. So skip for now. And then load a little bit more here. All right, we can sign into our account. Um, let's see, let's sign in. And uh, then we won't get a watermark on our computer at all. So let's go to sign in. I think there might be an option to skip. I don't see one, otherwise you'll have to create one. So I'm gonna sign in real quick. Okay, so I finally figured out how to sign in and we have all these different options for your privacy. Uh, we can go through here and just uh, you know turn on what we want. And you can decide which uh, privacy settings you want or not. So we got personalized officer uh, offers, but I'm just gonna deny those. We got location, find my device. That's fine, let's go to accept now. All right, I'm going to go to continue and it's going to pretty much update my settings from my gaming PC to my new laptop that I have setting up right now. Okay, so we can go through here and customize your experience if you want, but I'm just going to go to, I don't know, skip right here or maybe choose gaming. That sounds good too. And then go to accept and we can go through here and we're just about done. So I'm going to skip. I don't need to use my phone on here. And uh, you can um, set up your phone so you can get text messages and calls from your phone on your computer if you want. Uh, always have access to your recent data. I'm going to go to not now. And then uh, decline Microsoft 365, decline this. And then uh, we can go to next under here. Set up my email address with Outlook. I don't think I've ever used Outlook, but let's just go to next through here and we can skip for this paid thing so there's a lot of things to um, uh, decline or buy if you want and finally I have Windows 11 up and running we can go to a file explorer here and check out any additional drives we may uh, want to attach just to see if they're working so you can see uh, Windows is taking up maybe like 60 gigabytes total maybe less than that actually and this is a one terabyte drive so quite a bit of my hard drive is gone but you can see it works. Uh, you might get hung up on some things where you might just have to look at the video back and forth through the options, but hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below.